When we visit places, we like to see what is the most exciting thing doing in the place. So we can tell other people what they will expect when we get here to make your day. Or just visitors of South Australia. The most exciting thing to do in South Australia is use a blow room. They love using the noise of the blow room. It gets very, very excited. What's more exciting for them is going to shop and open a package. It's like undressing a woman to them. And they're all excited and they plug it in. And this is getting more ecstatic. They can't wait to go and blow things around on the pavements and on their garage floors. And then they suck all the dust in as well. as The dust goes in the air in the blow room. And they suck it in to show that they go, oh, they show off the women now. I can suck dust in. It's just amazing. But that's not the only exciting thing to do in South Australia. The other exciting thing to do is idle your car. Now, what you do, you get up at 2 o'clock in the morning and you turn your car on and you let it idle for an hour to show to your mate. It's like a, a, a romantic thing where you show off to your mate. They noticed it, they liked his car, and the sort of noise it makes. I blame Jeremy Clarkson for that, because he tells her, listen to the lawyer's business and noise. And I think they either, for some reason, maybe it's a long time since I've heard the noise, it's been in, uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, and 3 o'clock in the morning, or 4 o'clock in the morning, that they get a turn account, don't go anywhere, it's just idle for an hour, so there's obviously a, a reason for it, and they, it's, 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 they're listening to the noise of the engine. And telling all the village, the whole of the town, oh, I've got, oh, he's got a new engine. Listen to that, he's got a new car. And it just got so exciting. The other exciting thing to do with the is then, if you can, if you can get out of the house and into the bush and into the dirt road, is drive so you make a big plume of dust behind you. You have to make a big, big, loud, and a massive plume of dust to fly through the bush. And the most amazing thing to do then is get a cavalcade of people like 60 cars in a row and go up to the middle of the bush in the desert get 60 cars in a row and sit on a high speed as you can well over 100 kilometers an hour 130 140 kilometers an hour to show really that fast your toyotas and nissans can go in the dirt and the first one he's taking the lead and all the rest of them behind him sitting in the as if they're in a traffic jam, there's no space between the cars. Like just trying to car parody a traffic jam in, in in the city by doing it in the bush in the middle of nowhere, sixty cars, bumper to bumper, sitting at hundred and forty k's an hour, with all the first one spraying dust and then the second one spraying dust. So in the end it looks like they make their own sandstorm. And that that's really exciting. There's other people who are not aware that all these cars and this fancy cavalcade or caravansia or four-wheel drives doing 140 k's an hour, they're not aware that that's there. They can maybe have a buzz in the background. But you can see that, oh, look, we're going to have another dust storm and that gets everyone who's in the vicinity a bit panicking and all excited. The dust storms are really exciting. Like cyclones are exciting and tsunamis are exciting. It's very exciting, you know. You could be devastated. Yeah, the excitement is, is something like that. It's an anticipation of the unknown. It's always exciting. It's the same as when you open a blow up blow room. You know that on the unknown is if you don't plug it in yourself and made the noise. Anyway, those are some of the things that are exciting to do in South Australia. Um, I've tried to think. Um, what else there is? I've really done that. I think. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah I, 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 I'll get back to you when I can uh, discover other things that are exciting. There's other thing to do in South Australia. You can go to the wine yards, uh, vineyards, and then you can have a, a few tastings of wine. And, and they're really nice wine, it's lovely vineyards there. Um, you can have a really nice taste of wine, and then you can have excitement then of knowing 
that you're going to drive back to your town or wherever you've come from, thinking that you're going to get pulled over by the police and lose your license for having a large down. And that, that's another thing what's extremely exciting in a place like that what has three wine tastings, and then you've got to get back home. And all, if you did two of you, one of you's got to volunteer not to participate in the wine tasting. So maybe it's a good idea to start importing really, really cheap labour into South Australia so you can have someone who can show for your own. Well, you can have an all paid boy or a girl that can show for your own, right? Rescue a poor person from a third developing country. And well, I like the Arabs who have a Filipinos in and work and work and building all that stuff cheap. We get one in, and they're kind of cute, wherever they are, and you can teach them English and that and manners, so it's okay. And then you put them in, and they can drive you around while you go to wine tasting. So it's not so exciting, but, you know, it makes it a better year out, I don't know. Because getting home safely and not losing your license, you know, that's, that's the, a real thrill, that's what, after you bring up the wine, you know, tasting the wine and, and, and the dodging all the police. That's something extremely exciting. Anyway, those are the things I found in my travels uh, to be exciting things to do in South Australia. I'm, I, my name is Nat Pot, Nat Pot, naturally potted. Bye.